Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how I work through a process to create a more abstract color graph from a very simple image I took while walking a dog. Now, this is the final product, uh, my final print. That was the first proof print, and then I achieved the second print. Um, I want to show you how I digitally changed my image, and then how I just proceeded simply with um, color graph, just with one plate and with bits of glue and some f um, acrylic media to achieve different colors and textures as well as using a little bit of wallpaper and um, some thin paper to create more interesting textures. I hope you enjoy my video. So I used a package on my iPad called Procreate um, to create my image. As you can see here I'm revealing the layers of uh, what I drew on top of my photograph. Uh, this is the original photo and I just simply drew on top of it my design and once I was happy with it then I flipped it horizontally to print uh, my reverse image. Then once image is printed on a see-through paper I put it on top of newsprint paper to see it better and then on top of a carbonated paper. So then I can draw it out and the imprinted image will draw on my plate. And here, now I'm ready to score the card uh, with all the darkest areas being um, cut out. And in, in this Invira board, it, what's great is that you could have sort of two layers of cutting out. You see the lighter layer and the slightly darker darker layers uh, the darker layers are engraved even more deeper um, than than the lighter areas, which can be quite helpful to get some depth in my in in the design. Uh, so I use that here uh, to my advantage. Um, I decided later that I wanted to score the lines, the power lines, a little bit deeper. Um, I wasn't satisfied with just scoring them, so I actually cut into them a little bit later, as you can see uh, what I'm doing here now. The texture of the card is smooth, so if I applied ink just to the card uh, on its own uh, and then wiped it off, it would wipe off completely. So it's basically essentially like working on a Perspex sheet almost. So if you want any depth, you have to peel layers off. As I am peeling off more and more layers, you can see that the middle layer I'm leaving smooth and I'm not peeling anything off because I want this layer to be the lightest out of the whole design. And the areas outside it, I'm going to differentiate them uh, by applying acrylic medium um, to, 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 to basically differentiate how these areas trap ink uh, because I want them to have different tones. As you can see here, now I'm applying a little bit of wallpaper and some thin paper to add more interesting textures to the fields in the foreground and... I do it just by simply drawing through the see-through paper, thin paper and um, drawing on top of it and then cutting it out. And here I'm applying, um, as I mentioned before, the, the dif different acrylic media, uh, which is acrylic matte media, to create different um, ways of trapping ink and different tones. And now finally, I'm shellacking the plate. And once my plate is dry, I am ready now to ink up. As you can see, my plate looks like it's got different colours on it because that it's got dirty from uh, me doing a proof. I didn't record doing my proof print as it was just there to trial it out. I wanted to record and show you my final print. 
Um, so here I'm just applying different tones, different colours to different parts of the plate and I am being careful to get as much ink as I can into the scored areas uh, of the plate to just to get these lines. I'm starting here to get excess ink off with a bit of newspaper and now the excess is off. I'm doing the magic with scrim and this is a really important part of my process because wiping ink off with scrim is part of the design and the the, the patterns. Um, it's all about wiping the ink I think with, with the final print and you can make it um, give it a real nice dynamic feel to it by wiping it ink off in certain directions. Um, there are some bits here in my darker areas on the both sides of the, the middle uh, light area where you can see that um, the, the, the media I have applied hasn't been applied um, up to the line quite. But um, actually I, I like that and it's I think it's giving that sort of rough and ready feel to, to the, this design and making it look a little bit more organic and a little bit less tidy. Uh, which is what I like um, for my image to look like. And now this is the most exciting part, of course. It's the big reveal after I've run my plate for the press. Um, I'm here peeling off bits of newsprint and seeing finally what it looks like. And here we go. There it is. Voila. Thank you for watching the video and I hope you enjoyed it.